So in this video, we are going to discuss about design of an adder using HDL. Okay, so in the laboratory, the first experiment. So it comes under our part one, digital system, digital system design using HDL and FPGA. So in the first experiment is to design an adder of eight bit. So adder design panna porun using HDL language, hardware description language. So I am going to design that and simulate that using our Xilinx software. So Xilinx is fine, simulate panna porun. Later we have to uh, implement those in our kit. So first now we can see the design and simulation using Xilinx software. So adder design. So I am minimizing it. So we can open the lab manual. So this is our first experiment. So the apparatus required for this are the PC with Windows and designing software and SPARTA and FBGA both. So now we are going to see only the design and simulation. For that I am going to open designing IAC design suit. So this green color arrow. So I am going to open it. So after that I have to go to file new project. So in the new project, a uh, directory has been opened. The new window opens which carries the directory. So you can directly give the name of the directory as adder, project name as adder and view next. Okay. So you have to browse. So I'm browsing to D colon. So here you have to select the family. So here Spartan, Spartan 3, B, e. then here 500, e. and 50, 256, C grade minus 4. Then click next, finish. So now you can, you can check the project file which has created now, which is available in this console window, which is in the left side of our window. So here you can check the project file with the name adder and the chip file, the device name, which is the family Spartan 3D family which you have chosen now. Then you have to highlight that and right click and you have to add a new source. So the source is the Verilog module. So I'm going to select the Verilog module and give the file name again as adder so now the adder file v file is created here this is the top module indication you have to click there and in the, in the text editor window you have to type the code then typing the code output layout After typing the code, you have to save it and you have to check the syntax of this code. So, you have to go for synthesis and within the synthesis, you have to expand. There will be an option called check syntax. Right click it and choose the option of run and click run. It will check the syntax. Now our check syntax is completed. So after this, you have to produce the test bench. So 
for that again i am moving to the device and i right click and choose new source this time you are going to produce the test bench module so for that i am going to choose verlock text fiction so the name of my test bench module is adder underscore test next next and click finish now the test bench code is also created now we have to check this by running the simulation so for that you have to change the design from implementation to simulation so i'm clicking this simulation button and now how to highlight this add at this and you can get the option of icm simulator in the top of window there you have to expand and you have to click simulate behavior module and choose the option of run now now we are getting the waveform window so in this waveform window i have to check the code what are the things we have given as an input so in my code the output will be sum and c out and input is an 8 bit number a is an 8 bit number b is also an 8 bit number also c is also an another input so this is a this these two are the input conditions I have to give and I have to check the output as output in sum and C out. So in the ISM window, first of all I am going to change the radix of this. So radix in the sense, so in order to get the unsigned decimal, here also I am going to change the radix as unsigned decimal. Now I can dump the code value as, in order to give the input to the waveform we have to choose the option as post constant and you can apply the value of C up, click o, apply and click ok and then B I have to provide the answer as 12 and click apply then click ok now we have to save this and as add a waveform and then the post value then you have to click the run button which is available at the top run all button and then you have to check so here we are getting the output the first cycle which is without an output so after closing you can check the output here so i can also check the radix of the sum too so that it will be easy for us to check the answer so now you can check this previously it was available in binary now it is now it has become a unsigned decimal simply for our verification purpose i have changed so we can get the output of our 8 bit adder simulation and the next thing we can easily check out the rtl view for this so for this you have to go to synthesis and click the rtl schematic We have to choose start with the schematic of the top level. So here is the module or here register transfer level diagram for our 8 bit adder. So initially we have written the V file, after that we have produced the test bench waveform. Then in nice and simulator we have checked and verified the waveform window. Also we have verified the adder addition operation is performed. So next thing we have to do is to check the RTL view. So this is what our design and simulation. After this process, we have to implement the same uh, this, the same code into our FPGA program. In our first experiment, so far we have discussed about how to design an adder using Verilaf HTL and also we have checked the simulation results. So in this video, we are going to implement the same adder in our FPGA kit. So for that, we have to open Xilinx software. So here we can check the Verilog module which I have already designed in HTL language. Then after that we have to. So here in this device you have to click, uh, sorry you have to select and click right uh, and choose new source. Here you have to browse and select implementation constraint file and then give the name. So which I have already given so that I am going to open it. So your window will open there, you have to type the pin assignment. 
so in our adder we have uh, given two inputs a and b as our input and so another one input is our c in and we have to check our output in sum s and carry out c out so for this we have to give the pins assigned in our fbga board so this is the syntax to assign the pins net and loc lock so t14 and this and all our pin available in our fbga so now totally 16 input pins we can assign for our fbga so here i have only assigned for 4 bit for our a0 to a4 a3 and for our b input b0 to b3 and c in also i have assigned here then some s0 to s7 i have assigned and c out also i have assigned so this corresponding pin will be assigned as c out in our fbga in this way this code is written after that you have to save this code you can check this here by expanding it it is available here adder dot ucf file ucf means user constraint file then you have to save and then you have to go for design window there implement design choose implement design and right click it and choose run so it will start running so you can check if there is no error the green tick will be indicate indicated and if there is any error occurred a red mark will show shown up here it is running when they all the three process are how completed that is translate map place and route you have to choose generate programming file so highlight that and right click and choose run so after that you have to click configure target device and choose run so a window will pop up you have to click okay a new window will open so after this you have to connect the fbga board with our cpu so here jtec mode i have connected so which is a 10 pin mode so in order to convert our 25 pin parallel cable into into 10 pin i have connected a connector and it is connected to our cpu and we can on the kit so you can verify if all the leds are glowing our kit is ready and we have to keep the kit on and after that we can move to the same window here this is our impact window there you can choose the option of boundary scan and here another new window will open in that window place the cursor and right click and choose the option add silence device and you have to browse the uh, bit file dot bit file which is nothing but our adder file so it is available right local disk d so where we have saved our uh, project it will be available there so silence ist means here adder file in our adder project this is the file you have to choose dot bit file add a dot bit click okay open now you have to place the cursor here and choose program and a new window will open view okay so you can check the program succeeded now our coding has been dumped into the kit we can check here the output in our kit so you can check initially when we on the kit all the leds are glowing now only one is glowing now our program is dumped and here for our four bit input i have assigned the switch number 4567 so this is 4567 four toggle switches we have assigned as uh, input for our a and for b input i have assigned the switches from uh, s s12 s13 s14 and 15 here 12 13 14 and 15 so we can check the answers by giving the input values so i am going to uh, first give the values for 1 0 and 1 so 1 0 1 0 1 i am giving and for b i am going to give 
I am going to keep everything in one. And now we can check. So this LED LED switch also we have already assigned, which can be checked here. So our LED. So initially we have assigned our output to be displayed in the pin LED pin named from L16 to uh, L8. So here our LED pin L14 and L12 is glowing which indicates high output there. So our answer is 1001 so that our 1 is displaying in our L14 and uh, L11 and L12 indicates our C out output. That's all. This is the way to implement our program that is 8-bit adder program in our FBGA board. Thank you.